What's up, everybody, and welcome back to a Disney Colors Review. Today, I am going to be reviewing Jay Kobe Gremlin, suggested to me by BGM Reviews. Thank you, BGM Reviews, for suggesting this Gremlin. He is absolutely amazing, and I'm pretty sure all you guys know this already, but he's one of the hardest ones to find out of the full Gremlin family besides Tyler Gremlin. He's also a very little one. He was only released in 2013. Um, if you found him in the stores at all, I can say you're a very lucky person because I actually got mine off Amazon on Christmas. Like, yeah, I got it on Christmas, the Christmas of 2012. So that was cool. I, I was very glad that my parents was able to pick this guy up. Because I don't remember if this guy was in my wish list or not, but I was very happy when I found him in my stocking on Christmas morning. So right away, you can see that he, when you look at the front of him, you can already tell, like, this is a remake of a Grem. Because it, when we get into comparisons, I'll show you that Grem has a very similar expression to J. Kirby Grem in here. So you can see there's his X, is a little beat up, but there's X resembling the Gremlin X. There's the hood, and it has Gremlin in silver. Absolutely amazing. And he has a silver bumper. On the side here, he his um, hockey stick is a goldish color. And I was young, so I took his mirror off. I feel bad now <laughs> that I did that. It says Gremlin again right there. And on the back, there's some details like there's the Gremlin logo. There's AMC, which is the company that create, created the Gremlin and the Pacer. Um, here, I don't know what that says, but I know that's a 5. And that under there makes me a 4 slash 8 or something. I don't really know, um, and that reads, I think that reads BR214 maybe, something like that, and he has a silver bumper, and on this side, same as the other one, but I really like the hockey stick, and I was also very happy when Mattel released it, um, they're, they're, Mattel was supposed to release a, um, J. Curry Gremlin with weapon in, a. Uh, 2017. Yeah, I had to think about that for a while, but he they they canceled it sadly. Um, I I I I don't know if IC Cars Five was able to get one, but I know a uh, collection TV was able to get one. Um, I was I was look I was looking for them on eBay. They don't have any at the moment, and I'm very hoping that Mattel does release that variation soon, because I'll be so glad to have that in my collection, because that means we'll have a variant of each Lemonhead besides um, Victor H, because he he doesn't really need a variant. We already had a we already we already have a variant of Tell's Pacer and Vladimir Chunkov. All we need now is a variant of J. Curry Gremlin, which I think would be amazing because on the model of it, it looks pretty different from the original one. So hopefully Mattel releases that one soon or I'm just able to find one on eBay soon. So anyways, that's basically it for the review of him. So now let's get into comparisons. So let's pick the the two the two thousand era models, the first gremlins that came out. So here's Grem. He was the first one of the first gremlins to come out and and as I said before, the facial expressions are very similar. If you see the mouth, it's similar as well. So what I think is that Mattel just took a Grem model and we and painted it a uh, purplish color, added a gold, ho gold hockey stick to it, and just changed it all up and named it J. Curry Grem. With that, because that's the only thing I don't really like about J. Curry Gremlin. Like, they didn't give him his own unique expression. They had to reuse a expression from an older Gremlin. Like, they used it from Grem when they could like arranged the old one because um they made they they made new expressions for Stefan Gremsky and Talga Gremlin. So I don't know why Mattel didn't do one for um. 
for jQuery, jQuery Grammar here. They also did the same thing with um, eight, with some um, Toast Pacer. Um, if you look at your Toast Pacer model, if you have one, it has the same exact expression as the the Acer expression when he was releasing a two pack with security fairing missile. Very, very similar expressions. So I don't know why they didn't change that. So they should have made them unique, but I still like it. You can see I had my grandpa for such time, like he's very, not beat up, but like, pretty worn down. And now, another rare gremlin, Tyler Gremlin, he's a very rare one. And I'm pretty sure he's a lot rarer than this guy, because he goes for a lot more money on eBay and Amazon than this dude. So... Tyler Gremlin is a lot harder to find than J. Curry Gremlin. Here's Don Cronin. For, for, for when they release, when Mattel actually released this guy, they actually, people thought like, Oh, Mattel made a big mistake. This is J. Curry Gremlin. That, I believe that's actually what some people thought. Like, this was actually J. Curry Gremlin, and Mattel just named, gave, gave it a wrong name. But no, it was not a J. Curry Gremlin. It's its own different character. But I have to say, he is a brighter color in the movie. And they even put this guy in the London um, 11 pack, I think, in 2013 or so. There was a big box set with 11 characters in it, and it was like in the London scene. And they had all the lemon heads. The Tub Spacer wasn't in that two pack, so I think it's 2012. But they had him in a placement for J. Curly Gutton. So I think that was kind of ridiculous. So I think you know what I'm talking about because it's very. Um, easy to find in Target for a while. Okay, so on to the more recent Gremlins. Here's Stefan Gremski. An amazing character. I like this guy a lot, mostly because of his green color. He looks pretty good. And here's Stefan Gremski. No, sorry. Talaga Gremlin. I believe Showed you Stefan Gremski. Here's Ty Talga Gremlin. I really like the mud splashes on him. His hockey stick is pretty similar to J. Curry Gremlin's. It's kind of a gold, but he has more like a yellow hockey stick. But pretty similar. They both have um, silver bumpers, even though he has like rust details on his. Still pretty cool. And last but not least, the Disney Store Gremlin. A very cool one. I believe this was a chase. And yeah, that's basically it for the review of Tyler Gremlin. Again, thank you. BGM reviews for suggesting this amazing character. I really like th that you suggested this. And he's still one of my favorite Gremlins. Um, Stefan Gremski's up there. Tyler Gremlin's up there. My least favorite, I'm thinking, is probably. Um, I don't know. I like the Gremlins, but I don't really know which one's my least favorite. Maybe Grem, maybe Don Gremlin. I don't really know. But, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, and, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a live stream today, so check that out. Uh, if you don't follow my Instagram, you should follow it because I would let you guys know if I'm streaming. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.